Hi everybody, I'm Hikmet, Hikmet Mirzazadeh, and today I'm going to talk about the repetitions, and I call this talk Ford Tunnel. It doesn't work. And I call this talk Ford Tunnel, because if we put a rat in a maze with four tunnels, and always put cheese in the fourth tunnel, after a while, that rat will learn always to go to the fourth tunnel to get cheese. We humans will do the same. Do you want cheese? Down the fourth tunnel, there is the cheese. Next day you want cheese? Down the fourth tunnel, there is the cheese. Now, after a while, when you move the cheese to another tunnel, something very interesting happens. Rat goes down the fourth tunnel, there is no cheese in the fourth tunnel, rat comes out. Goes down, no cheese, comes out. Again, goes down, no cheese, comes out. Yeah, the same things over and over again. Now, here's the question. What is the difference between rats and human beings? The answer is very simple. Eventually, rats will look elsewhere, but human beings will go down the fourth tunnel forever. I say forever, because as human beings, we develop a belief in a fourth tunnel. I mean, we repeat the same things over and over again. We believe that the only possible choice after school is university. Only possible choice after university is getting full-time job from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Only possible choice after getting job is getting married and having children. So we cannot think in different way because we are intelligent social creatures that make judgments. And these judgments define our belief systems. Let me quickly demonstrate it through the little experiment. Please look at this picture. Who sees the two shades of gray? Please raise your hand. And who sees only one shade of gray? And now, please raise your both hands if you see the 50 shades of gray. <laughs> now, there can be seen two different shades of gray, but if you cover the middle line with your thumb, with your finger, you'll find out that only one shade of gray. They're the same colors, just our brain accepts the information through the judgments of previous perception. In detail, if we see only one negative side of a person, we accept him or her totally negative, or vice versa, because we simply establish a belief in a fourth tunnel. But rats do not believe in anything, all they're interested in is just cheese. And you people are, unfortunately, human beings, not rats. That is why, for a long time now, you haven't been getting any cheese and your lives are not working. You got too many beliefs in too many four tunnels. Science says that these meaningless attitudes are related to the zones, boundaries of our psychological state, our psychological mood. And Author of the book name Danger in the Comfort Zone, Judith Bartwick, defined the zones. And there are three zones. In the middle, you can see the comfort zone. First, comfort zone, where we get bored. Second, the stretch zone, where we learn. And the third one is panic zone, where we panic. Please look at the mirror. So, don't let the name trick you. Actually, comfort zone, it's not comfortable. Comfort zone is just the zone that we got used to be in it. For example, if you wake up every day at 7.30 a.m., go to work and work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., every week meet with the same people, or even you need a direction, you hesitate to talk strangers, then you are stuck in your comfort zone. Because in the comfort zone, stress can be equal to zero, but also development is equal to zero. And if you're still trying to keep yourself in the comfort zone, you will never find the inventions of our contemporaries. No books or written, no books or songs were be written. No ideas were be nurtured. No successful people would exist. So we don't want to be stay in the comfort zone too long. The second one is stretch zone. And Stretch zone is totally opposite to the comfort zone because if in the comfort zone, stress and development equal to zero, but in the 
comfort, but in the stretch zone, stress is 50 while the development is 100. Because life starts at the end of your comfort zone, and great things never came from comfort zone. Let me quickly explain it with the help of some tests. Please get your paper and pens. Now, I have a very, very special task for you. First, I want you to draw a square. Just an ordinary square. It's easy, yeah? And now, I want you to draw triangle. Not inside, just other place on, the, on your paper. And now, I want you to draw a square with three lines. I'm repeating. Square with three lines. I didn't say that an ordinary square with four lines, but I said with three lines. And these three lines should be solid or straight, and do not hesitate, it is possible. By the way, there are some extra rules that you cannot break. For example, I don't want you to draw anything like this, or I don't want to draw anything like this. It's not acceptable, and it will not work either. Also, drawing something like this, you cannot fold the paper. You have 20 seconds, and let's get a start. I know that it must be challenging, but at least try to draw something. Oh, you have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, and then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It's time. Probably you didn't think that. You didn't think that. The answer is... This one, square with three lines. A few seconds ago, you were just stuck on your comfort zone. After this experiment, you had to enter to the stretch zone. And as you see, stress is equal to 50, while the development is 100. Because you learned something, something thinking in a different way, and you became more creative, and it was development. So if comfort zones are so dangerous and the stretch zone is so helpful, how can we leave our comfort zones and enter to, the enter to the stretch zone? Before the answer, let's quickly demonstrate the third and the last one, panic zone. Simply to say that panic zone is just a losing control. If you can no longer think on the high stress, then you're probably stuck on your, on your panic zone. And because in the panic zone, stress is equal to 100, while the development is equal to zero. I need a volunteer to demonstrate the panic zone. Who wants to be a volunteer? Please raise your hand. By the way, it's a magician trick. Uh, you, madam, please. Please take a seat. And please choose one of these cards. But don't show to me. Just try to keep in your mind. Mm -hmm. But you can show to the audience, by the way. Okay. Yep. Uh, show to the audience. Okay. It's okay? Okay. And now, I want you to put your card down here. And I want you to say stop whenever you want. Stop. Your card must be somewhere like here. And I will try to find it. And also, you will, find, you will help me in this. I will show you two cards. And one of them will be your card. Is it your card? No. Please put your hand over. Is it your card? Please put your hand over. And now I have, I will ask you a question. 
but I have conditions. One, the question will be so quick and our volunteers answer should be quick also. The second one is you have to answer without thinking. Deal? Are okay. you ready? Are you ready? Really? Are you sure that you're ready? <laughs> Three, two, and then one. Right or left? <laughs> She's already stuck in her <laughs> panic zone. Okay, your answer is right. Please open your right hand and to, show you. to show everyone. And now, please. <laughs> there is nothing impossible. Thank you. As you see, our volunteers' stress was hundred because all audience's attention was on her, and this high stress blocked her brain. And as you see, development was equal to zero. So, if comfort zone and the panic zone are so dangerous, how can we leave this zone? The answer is very simple. Doing new things. Let me tell you a story how this applies to a real life situation. Here you can see my friends, Seymour, Nora and Rick. Three weeks ago, a, a Dutch couple from Nederland, Nora and Rick, came to Baku as part of their world travel. They were like everyone else, leading their regular lifestyle, working from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then meeting with friends at the weekends. Briefly, they got too many beliefs in too many port tunnels. They were stuck in their comfort zone until they decided to spend all their money, all their saving, to their three years long trip. So they're new things. Doing new things can be playing guitar, learning new language, or traveling to unknown place, quitting a permanent job, and creating a career, or at least changing the way that you go to work. Because it's a very important. Do new things, make new mistakes, because making new mistakes create new opportunities. New mistake, new mistake, new mistake, but all together, it's a great opportunity. And finally, doing new things for me is solving the pyramids. Pyramids is a tetrahedral puzzle in the style of Rubik's Cube, and it was invented before the Rubik's Cube. Patented by you, Mefford. It's easy to guess that it's something not easy to solve. But take it easy, because all we get some troubles. We look at our life, we want to solve it. We want to figure it out. We want to solve this part, but scramble other parts. Like, like we want to solve life issues, but skip lessons at university. But don't forget that life is like a pyramid, and it's solved step by step. <laughs> and, and as Robin Sharma said, after living the same 75 years, don't call it life. Get out of your comfort zone. Thanks for attention. <laughs>